Lastly, the guy from the real estate authority was here looking for you. I'm assuming he wants to chat about the underquoting. How do you know about the underquoting? That's confidential. Everyone knows about the underquoting. Look, I think they're parked out front, so I suggest staying away from the office for a while. Thanks, Donna. Keep an eye on things there. It's a goddamn witch hunt. Yeah, except with a witch hunt, they weren't really witches. They were innocent. Excuse me? You're being accused of shit you're actually doing. I'm not sure if you've thought about this, but what you do affects me. And everyone else at the firm. I'm being singled out for something that everybody does. That's the very definition of prejudice. And I've witnessed you doing it as well, so if you could dismount your high horse, please. I only did it because you told me to. What if I told you to jump off a cliff? Oh. Would you? No, of course not. Exactly. Although, technically, you'd have to, because I'm the boss. <sighs> Whatever, man. Look, don't worry. I'm not going to let anything happen to the company. What's so funny? Oh, just some banter with a mate. He works for Ted Cross. It's kind of a friendly rivalry, you know? You have a friend at Double Cross's office and you're just telling me now? Yeah, what does it matter? I'm sure there are people at Pepsi who are friends with people at Coke. Oh, and I suppose we're Pepsi. That's the vendor from 16 Barry Street. It's the second time he's called today. Oh, God, where to get it? Watch and learn. Hello, Bob. Sorry I've been hard to catch. Been right under the pump. I need to know what's happening with a buyer, Marcus. Has he got his finance sorted or what? Deadline's tomorrow and your lack of communication has me nervous. Well, I haven't heard of any issues. Should be all sorted today. I've dealt with this buyer before. He is rock solid. Well, if this contract doesn't go unconditional by tomorrow, I'm taking the property to another agent. Yeah, Ted Cross. He reckons he can find a buyer within 24 hours. Is that what he said? Must be true then. Either that or he's a double-crossing son of a bitch who'll just tell you whatever you want to hear. I don't care who tells me what, Marcus. I just want my house sold. You've got 24 hours. Shall I get the buyer on the line? Oh, duh. Hello? Andrew, Marcus Lowe here. How are you, mate? Is the finance all sorted? Is there anything that I need to be worried about? No, mate, all good. I like the house a lot. You know the house is unlivable. It's a knockdown job, land value only. We've been through this, Andrew. Yeah, that's perfect. Don't wanna, don't wanna live there anyway. More of a workplace. You know, it's not zoned for that, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, so if you could just get everything together for the broker so we can go unconditional on the contract, that would be great. What does he need again? Pay slips, Andrew, pay slips. Yeah, no, that's all right. I, yeah, I told him. I don't, I don't have him. What about a group certificate? Nope. A letter from your employer? Self-employed. A copy of your bank statement? We don't have a bank account. Okay, Andrew, leave it with us. I think you'd better call time of death on this one. Never, never call time of death. You do whatever it takes to get a deal over the line. Persistence beats resistance. Get that mortgage broker on the line. Good boy. The fucking thing. Hello, Marcus. Mortgage broker to the stars. How's the finance going on Barry Street? Yeah, not well. Even the Bank of Namidia won't touch it. Oh, shit, it's that bad? That bank will finance anything. Mate, this guy you've sent me is a ghost. No paperwork that I can use to get him financed. Can't you knock up some pay slips for him? This isn't a Jason Bourne movie. Where'd you find this guy anyway? He's real vague about what he does and where he does it. I think it's all too hard. Uh-uh. I've already spent your kickback on the loan commission. What about the wife? She seemed like she had her head on her shoulders. Can't we put the loan in her name? It's actually not a bad idea. Are you on the ball, mate? Okay, you, you leave it with me. First leg of the uh, quarter is about to jump. So. Fraternising with the enemy again? Ah, oh, we've got a wager on this Barry Street sale. Ooh, a bet. Yeah. How much? Oh, 20 bucks. <laughs> That's not a punt. <laughs> it is on my salary. 
Yeah, well, salaries are negotiable, aren't they? That got your attention, didn't it? Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna tell your friend at Ted Cross's office that you wanna raise the stake to $500. If he's as cocky as most Ted Cross employees, he'll accept. I can't spare 500 bucks. You won't need it. The sale is ours, guaranteed. So ripping off a mate 500 bucks is your version of a salary increase? He doesn't have to pay you if... If? If he occasionally gives us some intel on Ted Cross. Who he's dealing with, what his techniques are, whether he can really find buyers within 24 hours, or if he's just talking out of his puckered, hairless, salon-bleached arsehole. I'm not going to do that. Fair enough. Duck in and grab us a couple of coffees, will you? Happy with yourself? Maybe. Oh! I want some good news, baby! Woohoo! A phallus! I'm here with Andrew right now. You're on speaker. Yeah, how are you, boys? What's the verdict, boys? Did Mrs. Andrew impress the banks? Oh, well, maybe this will answer your question. Oh, who shook the bottle? Hey. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Andrew. We're absolutely wrapped for you. Oh, look out. Here she comes. It's the lady of the hour. Hey, babe, you're home early. You fucking blow life prick. Do you think I wouldn't find out? Well, it's going to be a surprise. Surprise my ass. I've just become the owner of a fucking grown house. What did I tell you when we got together? Never involved me in your bloody business. Yeah, well, you don't mind being involved in it suit ya. Chuffing away all my fucking profits. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. You won't be making any profits for a while, dickhead. You did it. No, oh, I fucking did. Oh, sorry, Marcus. The deal's dead in the water. You bloody idiot. You were supposed to tell her. How did you get approval? I don't know. He must have forged the signature. Look, I gotta run, boys. I'm off to the dish liquors. <laughs> 20 bucks down the drain. You wanted me to bet 500. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, this will be him rubbing it in. What? Did you make a $500 bet from my phone? Yes, Julian. Because you didn't have the stones to. Ah, uh, because I knew this would happen. Oh, ye of little faith. M Marcus, we lost the sale. Yes, you know that now in hindsight. Hence, the little faith. You've just learnt a very expensive lesson, buddy. Oh, and what's that? Always lock your phone, mate. You never know who's out there. <laughs>